Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and I wanted to show you how to reset your iPhone to factory default settings. If maybe you're selling it, trading it or giving it away, I'll show you what happens with your eSIM. And I currently have 5g here with T-Mobile. I moved my eSIM from my main 14 pro max to the iPhone 14 to show you exactly what happens and what you need to do if you're resetting your phone. Now, by following these steps, everything will be 100% removed from your phone. So you'll need to make sure you have a backup. When we're done, the phone will be just like it was the first time you took it out of the box. So if you're upgrading or changing iPhones, I would complete the setup process on the new iPhone first, which will transfer all of the data that will move everything over from your old iPhone to your new iPhone, including your eSIM. If you're using one, I have a separate video showing exactly how that process works and I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. Out. If you don't have the option to have both devices together, in case you don't have that, you'll want to make sure you have a backup. You can complete that one of two ways, using a computer, plugging it into Lightning and using iTunes on Windows or a Mac with Finder, back it up there, or you can use iCloud. I use iCloud, so I wanted to show you that method. So make sure you have enough storage, go into your settings, under settings, tap your name at the top and then tap on iCloud and within iCloud under iCloud backup, make sure it's turned on. You can back up over cellular. If you want to just be aware of data rates and then tap backup. Now, depending on your overall data speed, whether it's 5g or Wi-Fi, this could take some time. However, it will only back up what you have enabled here. So on the previous page where we have show all, make sure you have all of these things enabled that you want it to back up. Once you have that backed up, we're ready to move on to the next steps as it will wipe everything from your iPhone. So you want to make sure you've done this first. Now, one quick note, resetting your iPhone will not reset it to a prior version of iOS. If you have future versions of iOS on this, you want to revert back to maybe a different version that came with it. It will not do that. You would need a computer to revert back to what Apple allows. So resetting it just gives you the same version you're currently on. So now once you've made a backup, if you have an Apple watch and you're not planning to transfer it to something else and you haven't transferred it when you did the transfer process earlier, you want to make sure you unpair that Apple watch before you move on to the next step. Now you can reset your Apple watch directly from the watch itself, but it's easier to just go into your watch app within the watch app, tap on your watches. And if you have multiple ones, just tap the eye next to it at the bottom of the next screen, just tap on unpair Apple watch, you'll unpair it. And then once that's done, you'll be good to go. You won't need anything until you get to the new phone. You can unpair it and then repair it with the new phone. Now, also you want to consider canceling Apple care. Plus if you're planning to switch to a different phone and you won't have access to an iOS device, whether that's iPhone, iPad, or even a Mac, you won't be able to cancel any Apple care plus subscriptions you have. So you want to make sure you do that ahead of time. If you're not moving over to another iOS device, or you don't have other Apple devices to do that, go back in your settings, tap your name at the top and then tap subscriptions. If you have subscriptions, they'll show up here. This phone currently doesn't have any, but on my other phone, I have some. So if you have one, maybe for an older phone, you'll see 13 pro max. This is a monthly fee. If you want to cancel that tap on the subscription, then you can cancel the subscription from there. Then you can move on to the next step. Now, if you're switching to Android, there's an additional step. So if maybe you're switching to an Android phone, you'll want to turn off and deregister iMessage if you're not going to use it. So you can turn off iMessage in settings. So under settings, if we go back under iCloud, go down to show all and turn off messages. If you don't already have this turned off, make sure you disable this and also do the same with FaceTime. Then go to Apple's website where you can deregister and turn off iMessage. You can just simply search for it like I did here, and I'll link this in the description and you'll see it usually comes up as the top result, deregister and turn off iMessage within this option. We'll go to that site. It gives you a couple different options here to transfer your SIM card then turn off messages, FaceTime, etc., and then enter your phone number. Then you enter the security code and deregister your phone number. That will ensure that your phone calls or your phone number no longer goes through Apple's servers. So it deregisters it and lets you move on to maybe an Android phone. If that's what you're switching to, if you're moving to another iPhone, you don't need to do this step. The next thing is signing out of iCloud. The reason you want to do this and well, it will technically do that while you're resetting the phone, you'll want to do this just to make it easier. If maybe you're switching to another phone and you're selling this to someone else or trading it in that way, it's not activation locked. Now, in order to sign out of iCloud, go back into your settings, tap your name at the top, scroll down to the bottom and tap sign out. 
tap sign out, and then you'll have to put in your password for this device. As far as iCloud is concerned at the next screen, it will ask you if you want to keep a copy of your data on this iPhone. Since we're wiping the phone and removing all data, we just want to sign out and make sure everything is off. So sign out again, it will ask you again, and it will take a moment to copy iCloud data, make sure it has it in the cloud. You can also verify this information on iCloud.com to see what it has backed up. Now, in order to fully erase the phone, all we need to do is go into settings. Now that we're ready, go to general, scroll to the bottom, and then go to transfer or reset iPhone, go to reset all content and settings. And you'll see, it will say the following items will be safely removed from this iPhone apps and data and eSIM. Now it will remove your iCloud account. It's just easier to go and remove it yourself to make sure that it's done properly. And as you can see, we have eSIM. eSIM will actually ask us if we want to remove it from the phone or keep it on the phone after a full reset. So we'll tap continue and it asks for the passcode for this iPhone. And this is the part where it says, are you sure you want to erase all data? This cannot be undone. This will erase all media content, eSIM and settings from your iPhone. You can choose to keep or delete your T-Mobile eSIM from this iPhone. We can keep the eSIM and erase data or delete the eSIM and erase data. So if you haven't transferred this yet to your new phone, you'll want to do that. Otherwise you'll have to contact your carrier afterward. So we'll go ahead and keep the eSIM this time around. If you just want to wipe the phone and maybe start over. So we'll keep it. Then it starts to erase. We'll give it a moment and it will fully wipe the phone, removing everything off of it. That was on there before it will fully reboot showing the Apple logo and a little progress bar. We'll give it a few minutes and then we'll come back when it reboots the phone rebooted. And now we're at the hello screen where we can set it up, swipe up to set up or right at the same setup screen. You would have the second you take this out of the box and turn it on for the first time. It already has the eSIM there, so it hasn't been removed, but if we removed it, this would just show SOS on an iPhone 14. Now, if you have a physical SIM card, you can move that at any time, but at this point we can either just set this up or we could give it away if we remove the eSIM. So we're ready to go and everything's securely removed. No one can access your data and it's unlocked as far as activation lock. So if you do sell it to someone, it shouldn't ask for your passcode again. So that's how you reset everything to factory default on the latest iPhones with the latest software. Let me know if you have any additional questions in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.